right. Uh, you know, in addition to being on this side of your radio speaker, I'm on the same side as you are out there in Radio Land. I like listening to the radio. And on Saturdays on this radio station, we have a show um, that comes by way of a satellite receiver, and it's hosted by Tom Kreitler, who's a guest on our show quite often. Yes, he is. And his show is called The Money Pit. And, and one of the reasons I like The Money Pit is because people call up with questions about home improvement, and, uh, oh, my gosh, he makes it seem so easy. And, and you know, it's not always that easy. Well, we have an opportunity for you to see not only on a video, but in person, uh, some of the ways that you can improve your home. And it's happening over at On Top of the World. And Robert Colin is here. And Robert has a guest, uh, Teresa Fields, the program supervisor for On Top of the World. And the event is this Saturday, right, right Robert? This Saturday. Good yes, morning. Right. How are you doing? Doing great. The event, uh, Home Improvement Expo, this is our 10th annual Home Improvement Expo. And it's at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the uh, Circle Square Commons Cultural Center, which is just off of Southwest 80th Avenue. And I brought with me Teresa Fields. She's the one who has set this up for the last 10 years. There was a time when I tried to help her, but I think I just got in her way. So, <laughs> so she said, let me just do this myself. And she's done a much better job than having me involved in it. So I'm um, really excited to have her because Teresa, uh, as our program supervisor, really is kind of like, in a way, like a cruise director on a ship that never ends. Oh, nice. So she runs all the events cruise that go, all these big events, the yeah. uh, all the tours that come out of On Top of the World. She's really involved with uh, so much that goes on On Top of the World. So I'm really excited to have her here. This She was here last year with me, but I'm so happy to bring her back. So good morning, Teresa. Nice to meet you. Good morning. And I'm wondering how accurate my uh, my intro was. I kind of compared it to a home improvement show, which obviously is just listening and and finding out things. But is it more? I'm guessing is more to it than that, right? Oh yes, yes. We um, scope out the contractors that are going to be attending. They all have to be pre-approved, and they're uh, most of them are locally here in this Marion County and Citrus County. Um, we have over 50 contractors that will be attending. Some of them um, will be like bath remodeling. We have uh, solar lights, custom window treatments, water conditioners, and more. Really? Yes. Really? I wonder how many things that you have there are things that people don't even have yet, but maybe they've read about them, like solar lights. I've I've never owned any solar lights. Are those the things you put outside on the on the walkway? Are those things? No, it's more like a, a solar tube mostly, and they so it looks like it's like the old skylights where they used to cut open these big openings. Oh, in your, okay. So okay. these are more like uh, focused. There's a little crown on the top of your house uh, on the on your roof. Oh, and it okay. allows okay. the sun to come in, and then it goes through these almost mirrored tunnel that then drops into the into the room, and it really amplifies it. So if you go out there on a, on a night. In your room, a bathroom, whatever. Um, when when the moon is out, it's it's as bright as having a light on. Is that right? Yeah, wow, really that great. is amazing. And and that's something that you would have installed in your house. Like, let's say you don't have it there right now. Is there somebody that would be able to say, "Well, we can put that in for you at the at the event." Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And that's part of the the whole purpose of it, isn't it? Is to right. kind of match up people's needs with the people who can provide those needs. That's right. And this year we're going to have a special uh, contractor out. Um, because of what happened last year, he's going to be offering generators for the homes. Oh, so this is, this is be such a exciting. good idea. Yeah, I think we should all have generators. I, I don't I know. Agree. I mean, every time there's a hurricane season that hits us, everybody says we need to get a generator. And then a year or two goes by without a hurricane, and we, we forget about the, it. These are generators are in place all the time. That's nice. And they're, they're piped through natural gas uh, because we have natural gas running through most of our communities, and then if the power goes out, it automatically transfers over to this generator. And it basically, as long as you've got natural gas flowing, which shouldn't be interrupted because it's all underground, then uh, you ha your house runs continuously. So Absolutely amazing. <coughs> yeah. Is the home improvement, uh, are, the, are the people you want to invite, uh, is it all of us or is it just people who live at On Top of the World? No, it's everyone. It's open to the public. Everyone, okay. And it is a free event. So it's, from, again, it's from 9 to 1. And so um, it, we're welcoming everyone to come. It's a free event, and it's open to the public. So if, if you come and you have your kids, it's like trick-or-treating because every table usually has candy. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, uh, oh, you know, nice. A lot of people give out a bag or they give out little uh, trinkets, you know, like the little tape measures or flashlights. And Oh, how so cool. A lot of neat stuff. Um, my, my favorite, Mike Scott Plumbing always gives out. I know they're, they've are they been out here a bunch of times. They, yeah. they always yeah. give out great gifts. World Home Improvements, which is a... A home uh, remodeling division for on top of the world. Uh, we always give out some neat stuff, so yeah, it should be fun. And it's not just the uh, construction area that you'll be addressing. It's uh, simple modifications that people might want in their already existing dwelling. Correct. Yes. So, what kind of modifications do you think people might want? Maybe 
they might want to convert a bedroom to an office space or something? We, we, you, you can get, I guess, some of that when it comes to a second bedroom. Obviously, you don't do that with your master. Mm-hmm. But the uh, we've had people who've ex, you know, expanded their garage. They've added on rooms to their house. They enclosed their lanai. Oh. Um, if somebody wants to add a birdcage, you know, a big screen room to the back of their house. Brick, oh. um, there's a you know, brick paver patio. You can know, pave driveways that we replace it. So I mean, all kinds of stuff that you can do. You knew, a new water heater. Uh, there'll be two or three air conditioning companies there. So replacing the air conditioning is also an opportunity if you want to do that. At least talk to them and say, what kind of air conditioning yeah, yeah, do yeah. I need? What should I be looking for? And then, you know, if you just need a, a company that you can trust or something that has been a company that's been vetted, um, it's a good opportunity to meet with, like I said, two, three, uh, maybe even four this year. I'm not sure. And is that part of what you do? You vet the, uh, so you make sure that the people who are there can deliver what they promise? (coughs) Correct. That kind of thing? Right. How do you do that? That seems like a hard job. A lot of it is uh, companies that already have worked inside on top of the world that have had a decent. So you have some experience with them. That's right. We have experience with them. Or we call around, I'll call around even to, to check and see whether or not they're any good i've called people's competitors before that that i know the competitor and i say what do you think of these people and then they'll say yeah they have a good reputation oh that's always good so, that's always good to get the competitor to tell you good yeah. stuff so do you have anybody this year that you've never had before um like maybe i don't know i'm just gonna add, add a little blue we had a guest one time he was a stained glass maker i don't know yes if, so somebody let's say wants a stained glass window or something like that or, i'm just trying to think of an example of something that would be off the out of the norm uh the newest one that we have this year, like I said, is the one that's going to be offering the home generators. Uh huh. Okay. Um, that that's going to be one of our newest uh, contractors. We do have a couple of water conditioning companies that's going to be coming um, out, and we also have um, the um, what are the the solar tubes, and then we also have the uh, solar tracks that will be coming. What is the solar track? What is that? Those are just solar panels. Solar track does solar panels. Oh, oh for to make electricity? Either, yeah, to make electricity, a low, uh, you know, either for your water or for a whole house. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you have and any it, homes that are completely off the grid? Yeah, I could take, think of a guy uh, and um, of a guy who lives in Candler Hills. He's got. Really? He's not completely off the grid because you don't want to be completely off the grid. But what he, what he does, uh, I give you his name, David Shira. He'll be. He has a. He also is now represents the solar company that did all the work for him. So he's got the whole house generator. He's got uh, solar panels that cover his entire roof. Not his entire roof, but his whole, they, they provide enough electricity to power his whole house. Uh-huh. And then he's also got an electric car that he pumps in there. So Wow. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's got a Tesla. So he's pretty well set up. Oh, my gosh. What it allows him the opportunity to do those because there's something called net metering where if you when you have your solar panels in your house, if you're generating more electricity than, than you use, that'll put it back on the grid. And then the power company is responsible for either crediting you that electricity that they're, bu- that they're forced to buy from you, or- Oh, really? Yeah, or they, they actually will pay you. Now with, with uh, Mr. Shira, and, and I'm gonna give him a call later, make sure he watches this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he has it, and, that, and he'll provi- he gives you all this information at the show. So it's really neat to go to find David Shira at the show. Um, I forgot the Sunshine Solar Group. I think as he is, and he'll he'll show you his electric bills. And his electric bills are somewhere around the ten to twelve dollar a month. Range. Oh my god! And that's the basic fee, right? So that's nice. the, the service fee. And then at the uh-huh. end, they have to credit him back uh, all the power that he's provided to to the power company. So he really runs as a, as a net zero throughout the year. Solar Isn't that system. amazing? Really? Yeah. I wonder why we're all not doing that. Is, is it? You know, and he, he's a, a CFA, certi- Certified Financial Analyst for a company. He works from home. But he has it all figured out. And if you were to sit with him, you would be going out and buy it. For me, I would. I wanted to do it, but I'm like, oh, I can't really come up with $40,000 to do that to my house. I hear oh what you're gosh. saying. But, oh you know, the, he's the kind of guy that uh, he's probably going to have so many people stopping at his booth to ask questions. Oh, yeah, he does. He, he does. Tell him to write a book. We'll, we'll interview <laughs> yeah. him. And, yeah. And exactly. then everybody gets their questions answered, and he's done. He doesn't have to yeah. answer them anyway. He just said, uh, <laughs> just read my book. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, roofers there, uh, things like that, so people can ask in case they want to redo their roof what what uh, everything new is for roofing materials. But we, I don't think there's any roofers on our list, and, and that's mm-hmm. a, a really important point. They're not easy to get to come to these kind of shows, and especially right now where so many roofers are so busy oh. dealing with the hurricane stuff. 
and mm -hmm. then just their regular work. So, yeah, yeah. And then so much new construction. Plus you have, yeah, I was just going to say, you have you sold so many houses recently. That's I'm, right. I'm and sure then they're busy. It's not just here. It's everywhere throughout uh, central Florida where houses are really selling well. The economy is really booming right is now. The, is the event uh, outdoors or indoors? It's indoors. It's indoors, okay. There are a couple of vendors that are on the front. On the front porch, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. we have uh, a phone call coming in. If you want to put your headset on, you'll be able to hear the caller. Make sure you can hear me, and then if you can, I'll put the caller through. Can you hear me? Good morning. You're on the air. Thank you for calling. Hi. Could you give me the address uh, so I can put it on a GPS so I could find find where this is? Well, that, that's a great question. 8405 Southwest 80th Street, and it's just on uh, Southwest 80th Avenue and 80th Street. And it's at the Circle Square Commons Cultural Center. And you can look that up on, uh, you can Google it or however you want to search. So 8405 Southwest 80th Street. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you told us that. And uh, On Top of the World is great because when you do have all of these events, you also provide ample parking so people don't have to worry about parking on 200 and walking back. Well, 200 is about three and a half miles from, yeah. from where we <laughs> <laughs> so It would be a tough walk. But sure, there's a lot of parking. Yeah. And we have um, beverages and things there too also. For people in case they want to have some bottled water or something like that while they're perusing. Well, there, um, th there are some of the vendors will pass out things like water. I think Mike Scott Plumbing sometimes gives out water mm -hmm. uh, because, as you know, they're, they have a little water bottle in company. But, um, you know, I would say there's, I don't think there's anyone that gives out any kind of beverages. We don't sell anything at the event. Mm -hmm. There's always the uh, Mr. B's ice cream shop that's right next door. Yeah, oh, man. Nice. And they have nice. root beer. And they have root beer. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love that place. All right, so so it's this it's this coming Saturday, and um, what's the what is the time again? Nine a.m. Go ahead. Nine a.m. to one. Nine a.m. Okay, to one. So we go in the morning. It won't be. It's once you're at one o'clock, you're done. So, and uh, Teresa, will you be there to answer questions? Um, unfortunately, the I won't event? be this this at this show. Um, mm -hmm. My assistant Maggie Richards will be there to help anyone that need, has. Oh, any okay. Questions. And then you'll have like an area there that. Yes. It says she'll on top of the world and people Yeah, she'll be stationed at a booth right as you come in the door. Oh, wonderful. That's excellent. But so be nice to Maggie because she's nice and nobody wants <laughs> to hurt her feelings. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine <laughs> anybody oh, really? not being nice. All of, all of the people you have brought in, Robert, and everybody that works out there, they're just such a joy. And they're so helpful when you have the events and you have a question. They're just so helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Well, so are, are there demonstrations of how to do certain things? We'll, we'll the, not really. Not I really. mean, what, what is there will be a lot of vendors that will show their, their equipment. Um, the, the air conditioning company brings an air conditioning. They'll kind of, they'll, they may open it up and show you the different right, parts of right, it, show right. you the different SEER ratings that they offer, which is the energy efficiency ratings. But uh, the window companies all, you know, they'll have their booth and they'll right, it's right, really right. a display of what they sell and what they do. Right. And, it's, and as you keep saying, it's an opportunity to talk to these people in, a, in an unintimidating situation, right? They're not at your door saying, let me do something. Well, You're going to them without having to go out to their store. Mm -hmm. here's, here's one of the things <coughs> that I, I'm thinking about. There's once in a while there's a, a vendor here at the mall, like halfway down to the left that way, and he's, he's selling these uh, bathtubs with doors so the people who can't step into a bathtub can get into a bathtub. And I feel so bad for him because usually people shopping in the mall are not looking for that. But this event... It's, it's specific. They're probably going to have a lot of people there. That's yes, right. and we do have someone that will be selling those type of bathtubs. Um, that's going to be the bath fitters. Okay, so okay. So they will be on site, and they will have a bathtub. So could somebody use. remodel their whole bathroom uh, or e even make it larger and or put a bigger bathtub, that kind of thing? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Really? And we've got the different departments that are there to help them with that. And do some homes have not just bathtubs that are easy access like that, but also showers, too, in, in the same bathroom? Yes. You know, separately walk in. Too bad we couldn't have got that. My, my mom needed to have uh, no bathtub. She, had to, she couldn't climb over it anymore. And I don't think that was invented, or we didn't know about it or something. Mm -hmm. So my dad took out the bathtub completely, and it was just a shower. Yeah, yeah. And, and now there's opportunities. I don't, I don't know how long ago that was, but you can do showers where you can roll yourself in. Or, oh, really? Yeah, you know, if you need it. Or, you know, for, they're designed for people who either shuffle or in wheelchairs, mm -hmm. and, and they're... They're even one-piece units that, that come like that. They have low thresholds. But, you know, one of the neat things about this event that really Teresa has spear, spearheaded the last, like I said, 10 years 
is that we've estimated that the economic output of this event is something in the neighborhood of $14 million over the 10 years. Wow. So you think about it, when we went through the, like a deep recession in 2008, yeah, yeah. and we really when we started this thing is because a lot of the contractors were really suffering. And we said, well, what, one, is the, one of the things that we could do that provide an opportunity for our residents specifically, but for everybody in Marion County, to have uh, contractors that they can trust, but also provide an opportunity for our contractors to meet people uh, and, and keep their employees. That makes sense, yeah. And the first year, was it was a small event, but we still had a tremendous amount of people. So we only had maybe 30 tables or something, 20-something tables, because it was in the... Right. And it was, it was inside. <coughs> it wasn't open to the public at that point. But we had such a huge success with it that's when we decided to move it out to the cultural center and open it to the public. Do you have right. some, somebody there that would be uh, maybe in the security uh, line or a locksmith? Somebody because locks have changed so much in just in the past ten years. I mean, you can check your lock from your office now and, and things like that. Right. Will there be somebody there who's got a specialty in that area? Uh, um, I'm I, I don't Unfortunately, know. not. not uh, but that is a great <coughs> idea. We like a security of surveillance, that kind of thing. There, right. there are um, handymen that are going to be there, mm -hmm. and so they do some of that kind of stuff. But okay, okay. I mean, you can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot, and they can install it for you. But I think that, that maybe what you're talking about, which is something we really need to be more aggressive getting, it, are people who provide those uh, like electronic locks that you can you can open and unlock it with your right. your, your phone or. Right. You know, um, you know, helping people set up, you know, lights even with Alexa in your house. You yeah, know, those the, the doorbell thing where you hit the doorbell and then the, the picture the comes, on, comes on. And yeah. you could be in Hawaii. And yeah. that, that person doesn't know you're in Hawaii. Right. They think you're inside the house somewhere. There, there is an electrician that's going to be there. And that is the, the people, one of the, the, the companies that's going to be installed. I think their second one's going to be here. The, uh, they were there last year. They do the generators also, but they're also a general electrician. So they can do those kind of things as well. Hmm. But they would install something like that. You can do that yourself as well. <clears throat> if you go on YouTube, you can watch how to do it. Um, so, so does this normally net um, home people moving in? Do you, do you have a lot of that where people come and, and as a result of this, they end up not fixing up the home they're in, but instead moving into a new place that's on top of the world? Does that happen? It, it happens. I, when we were when I was involved with uh, our remodeling division, I, I got out of it because we were very busy with other stuff. But when we still have the division, we we went over to a house where they wanted to do something like thirty or forty thousand dollars worth of improvements, and it was just like, well, if you want to do that, why don't you just look into buying a new house? And the lady did. Yeah, go, really. She did go and she bought a new house, and uh -huh. then she moved into it and she built. She added on the garage to it, and then she's like, you know what? I really want something even bigger, and she ended up building a. A third house. Oh wow! And she wow. kept the other two. I think she was renting both of them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And she bought a. Uh, she bought one of the bigger houses in Stonebridge, which is one of our. Or she's Candler West, which is one of our. Uh, one of the biggest houses that we have. So. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, Robert Colin is here with Teresa Fields. They're here from on top of the world, and there's an event that you might want to put on your calendar and make sure to show up for. It's only four hours long, from nine till one, right? Yep. This coming Saturday at On Top of the World at the um, uh, Circle Square Cultural Center. That's right. Um, and again, what was that address? Uh, 8405 Southwest 80th Street. Okay, and yeah, if you Google that, I, I love the whole GPS technology because I can find almost everything. Yes. Unless somebody has their their business office on Google, like uh, like Culver's, you know, the ice cream place. Yeah. I, w I went to the guy's house. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Culver's. What is this? This is the guy's house. That's where the guy lives. <laughs> yeah, he put his wrong address on online, I guess. Uh, so okay, well that sounds like fun. And and uh, if you are, is it possible that we could maybe extend an invitation to vendors, or are you all filled up already? It's not, it's, I mean, it's only a few days away. Uh, we do still have a few tables left. Um, if anyone is interested, they would just need to contact me. Um, I can get the number. Yeah, absolutely. The number is 352-387-7530. Um, you would have to come into the office and fill out registration and make payment at that time, but we are still uh, taking some contractors. Some great opportunity for uh, somebody who's in that line of work to, to perhaps get some new business. Correct. Yeah. You know, one of the interesting things is... Uh, the Department of Business Professional Regulation, the state government, they actually have a table this year uh, just providing information. I think they were surprised when I said, great, come on in. I don't know if they were expecting us to be welcoming them to them uh -huh, or not. Uh -huh. But it, it's just an opportunity to educate uh, residents, anybody looking to do home improvements on, on contractors and making sure that you have licensed contractors, which is important. And we're putting your stamp of <coughs> approval on these vendors also is really um, 
it eases the minds of people who are looking for for you know contract workers because you hear these horror stories all the time. There was one just last week. Uh, a lady was, uh, I guess, the guy went to jail, but she had hired this guy, gave him a down payment, and he never came back. And then when he when she called him up, he he said, "Oh, I'm going to need some more money," and she paid him. And, and they still never came back. So he was just taking her money and not doing anything. And so they arrested oh, wow. him. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you don't want that kind of a story in your... No, no, absolutely not. And that's why all of our contractors are pre-approved that come to the show. That's good to know. Yeah, because yeah. it's hard to know nowadays. When you go online, anybody can have a website. Right. You know, it's not like... At least when in the days of Yellow Pages, you had to pay to be in the Yellow Pages. Correct. Now you sort of don't have to pay. You can have a, a Wix site for $14 a month or something, right? Yep. And have people think you've got, you've got, you've built the Taj Mahal or something, mm. right? That's true. Um, all right. And anything for the do-it-yourselfers? Will there be some do-it-yourself? Um, instead of hiring a contractor, here's some ideas for you. Uh, There's always that opportunity when you go out and you look at what's what's available in, in the show. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Kind of sort of take yeah and notes. Teresa's got other activities that I thought would be a good opportunity for her to talk about Absolutely. what she's got yeah. coming up that's open to the public. Yes, on Saturday, March 10th, we'll be holding a Hands Across the Highway art show. This is going to be in the same location at the Cultural Center and sponsored by On Top of the World. And we will also be having a Ocala Auto Show on the outside. Oh, really? And this particular event, we will have live uh, entertainment, live broadcasting, food trucks, exhibitor displays, and, of course, the art show will be inside. It's an interesting kind of art show because it's not like – uh, old cars. This is new cars that are on the market. So if you're looking for a new car, it's a great chance to come out and look and see what, you know, DeLuca or Honda, Ocala, or Jenkins, or any of those companies are selling without having to go to, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable to go to a dealership and have to worry about them trying to You never know. You I know. I know. So yeah. this is a great chance to look at the cars, even meet with them there, but not have to have the pressure of of, uh, nice. Buying. And uh, sometimes people don't know what new cars are on the market. Larry had right. a story, a new story this morning from <laughs> Rolls Royce, and they're putting out their first SUV ever. So I just think that's that's pretty amazing. And with all all of the strides that are being made, especially with all of the dealerships in our area, they're always on the cutting edge. Is that what you're looking to buy? <laughs> <laughs> An SUV Rolls Royce. Yeah. That's right. I'm yeah. looking. I thought, Take ooh, me for a ride. Be, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it goes up in value. Right? So well, lunch. It's I'll sit in the back seat, though, so I can feel important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one year later, it costs more than when you bought it, as, as opposed to all the other cars, right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's kind of fun. So, and the art show itself, what kind of art is being displayed? This is fine arts, but we will also have. Um, there's going to be a um, palm or clay jewelry uh, vendor that we have. There's um, metal art. So it's, it's a lot of our uh, residents are the artists that participate in this, but also locally. Are you an artist? Oh, no. I don't call myself an artist. You no. look like an artist. No. You're very artsy looking, you though. I love artsy, your necklace. I think thing. that's yeah, outstanding. Yeah. Thank you. I was just trying to be psychic, there, but I'm, I'm horrible at being psychic. <laughs> well, this Saturday is really, really nice because sometimes you have people that want to do some kind of improvements to their home. They're kind of scared because they don't know exactly how to do it safely, and this really provides them a most wonderful opportunity. It does, it does. And it gives them a chance to meet the contractors firsthand and see if they feel comfortable with it. And even if they don't want to use that contractor, they know what it is that they can that they can do. Mm -hmm. And since you said that they are all vetted, I mean, people, especially when you want to put in a new air conditioning unit, you're never sure what size is the proper size, and they'll be able to guide them in the right direction yeah and in terms of size that that comes they have to do energy calculations for your house and so that there's a it's a computer software program that tells you what oh. size what what's the, how many tonnage you're supposed to use based on how many windows and the direction of your house from the sun exposure so and they have to follow that and then they get a permit based on the it's called a manual j maybe something else another permit part of it that they get but then that's why you want to use a licensed air conditioning contractor versus uh, Joe Blow off the street because they may just put in a three-ton unit when you need two and a half tons or a, you know, a five-ton unit when you really only need four, mm -hmm. and then it saves your electricity, and it, you have to worry. There's a lot to go with air conditioning. I don't want to get too technical mm -hmm. about it. but you know And uh, home improvements, too, with pets because I know my neighbor has a pet door. And she had to get something special to put in there, and it's the coolest thing, and it's very energy efficient too. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. And speaking of pet doors, one of the the air con uh, the window vendor that that's going to be the uh, Central Florida Window and Doors. I had him for a project. I I had him create 
a sliding glass door with a pet door built into it. Oh. And he's like, well, we can't do it. And then I'm like, come on, you can, you can come <laughs> up with it. And then he came up with an idea that was you know, that got permitted and approved by the county, which means that it had all the right codes to it. And uh, he built it for her, and it was really a neat project. So, oh, how so cool is that? So those are things that? that you can say, hey, go to the window vendor, go to a different company. I've got this idea. What can you do to make it work? Nice. Right? Mm-hmm. Good, good ideas. You That's guys have amazing. so many professionals over at On Top of the World. I, it's a resource that the rest of us, we don't really have that. We go to a, like a hardware store and ask for advice. But I mean, just go to your office and you'll have somebody who knows something about something regarding your home. Yeah. Right? Uh, well, thank you, Robert. Always fun to, to hear the great things happening out On Top of the World. Teresa, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank have you a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. In the Senate round two of open debate on immigration after the first day came up with nothing. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called for a vote on a sanctuary cities bill. The sooner we get started, the better, because we'll need to wrap.